Hey, I'm Patrick Kellogg. Welcome to this video. This video is about how to redirect after a course completion. So let's take a look at it. If we go to Learn Dash and then Courses at our back end, we'll grab a couple courses and we'll uh, see this in action. So, sorry, this is a local development site and I have uh, some code running, so it's a little bit slow. But here's the course, here's the Beatles course. So if I hover over this, down at the bottom, down here, uh, you can get the post num number. So again, I see that's post number 221. So hopefully you see that here. So I'm gonna grab my code. And here's the code, it uses a filter. This is the name of the filter. And when this filter actually uh, like gets invoked, when a course is completed, um, and, and the UR and the buttons clicked, it, it uh, fires this uh, callback function, which is this one. And in here, I'm uh, passing in two parameters into this function, and the one we want to use is the course ID. That's a lot better because this other one link it can change but the course ID doesn't change very often. So we want to set this one to 221, which is the one we got from the Beatles. So just to make sure, if we hover over this, uh, down here at the bottom, I hope you see it, it says uh, post equal 221 and the action equal edit. So that's the Beatles course. Now if we hover over to the, uh, over the U2 course, we see that that's post ID 266. So I'm gonna grab my code over here and change this to 266. And this is actually gonna be like a, a number, so I don't need any tick quote marks uh, after it. So it says, hey, if this is course number 221 here, I want you to, uh, when it's done, I want you to go to this uh, My Account uh, page. If it's course 266, I want you to go to this Courses uh, Re React course, which really doesn't exist. So, um, I really need to change that as well. So let me just go to um, the Who course. And uh, if I were to uh, view this course, open link in a new tab and then go to the new tab, I see this is the Courses Who course. So I'm gonna copy that. And I'll bring in my code editor again, which is this. And I'll, I'll just put that in there. So you can go basically to wherever you want. This is going to a page. This one's going to another course. You can even have it go to google.com uh, or yahoo.com or whatever you want to do. And then if neither one of these uh, are completed, it's going to not do anything. It's just going to return whatever was passed in. So I'll save these changes and let's see if it works. So I'll go uh, take the Beatles course. So I'll choose Beatles course like so. And um, what I'll do to speed things up, I'm going to turn off my listener. You don't really need to know what this is, but uh, I, I'm listening for stuff. I'm going to turn this listener off. It's off good, so we don't need to uh, slow down our, our site. I'll take this course, the Beatles course. I'll expand this, take the Beatles topic here, and then take the, um, this is just a, like a placeholder, really simple. Take the Beatles quiz, which should be the last part. I can skip this custom fields. I don't need that. Uh, they were from Liverpool. Um, what German city? That would be Hamburg. And then Pete Best. And then I'll go ahead and finish the course. Again, um, let's see if it works. Uh, so it's going to finish this course and present me with a click here to continue button. And that's the one that fires this hook that we're using. Oh, no, I think, um, I think that's it. Oh, actually, I got to mark complete, and then it'll fire um, this hook. And you see it goes to the My Account page, which is good. Now, if I were to take the, um, the, the Who, um, the, uh, sorry, the uh, YouTube course, um, let's go to our course grid. I mean, I haven't tried this. I don't even know if this is functional, but uh, here's our course grid. If I take the... Uh, the U2 course, it should take me over to the Who course, so I'll go ahead and see if, I, if that works. So I'll click See More, 
Okay, I take the U2 lesson. And you know, these are just test lessons. I don't even know what's in here. Uh, okay, then I'll mark this complete. And then I'll start the U2 quiz, Ireland. And then it's competing, uh, com uh, calculating the results. If I click here to continue, hopefully this will take me to the WHO course. So it did. Look, it took me to the WHO course. So that's basically it. So here's the code. Uh, I, I have a filter. When this thing um, like uh, invokes this uh, filter, or you can say when it fires off this filter, uh, it's going to call this callback function. This is at a high priority, or it happens very soon in the hook chain. And, and what it does, it passes in a couple of uh, variables, the link, which can change, and the course ID, which doesn't change too often, and it passes this into here, and I say, hey, if it's this course ID, um, go here. If it's this course ID, go here. If it's not this or not this course ID, if it's not one of these, uh, go ahead and just act normally. And so for each one of these courses you want to add, you would just simply add another one of these. So that's basically it. I hope that explains it. Thank you for watching this video. Bye.